Some much needed good news in the fight against COVID-19. Infections are trending down after the summer surge, and the people who have been working nonstop in Georgia's hospitals are finally starting to see some major relief. Everybody's cautious, you know, because we've been through this before. You know, I don't want to be a pessimist. I'm going to be optimistic and think that things will continue to improve. And maybe, you know, the next time we go through this, it won't be as bad. Hospital workers who have been pushed to their brink during this pandemic are finally getting a small sigh of relief. Right now, Grady Health has 46 patients with COVID-19. That's about 10% of all patients there. That's right on track with what other metro counties are seeing. Statewide, 11% of patients in Georgia hospitals have the virus. That number was three times higher just one month ago. But they're not in the clear. 85% of ICU beds are still full. And while they have fewer patients than in months past, they also have fewer staff. Here's Dr. Robert Jansen, Chief Medical Officer with Grady Health. Even though we are taking a big sigh, we have fewer staff. And so they, we have to take care of all the patients that we still have with fewer resources. Healthcare workers hoping this COVID valley continues into the holiday season. And that was Christy Diaz reporting. Dr. Jansen says the numbers are going down partly because of vaccination rates and natural immunity, but other experts say it's also because of deaths in the ICU. That's why they say it's critical people continue to get vaccinated.